Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Marlene with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. So in today's video, we are making tuna fried rice. This one is also as quick and easy. So to get started in a large wok or large skillet, go ahead and heat up two tablespoons of olive oil, or you can use canola oil. Once the oil comes to temperature, go ahead and add in your green onions. Saute that for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. Then add in one pack of frozen but thawed out sweet peas and carrots. You can also modify this recipe by adding any vegetables you'd like. Go ahead and stir it well and allow it to continue to saute for about one to three minutes. After the time is up, go ahead and spread it out to create space for you to add your canned tuna. Gently mix well, but be sure to not break the tuna. Once you're done, go ahead and spread it apart, leaving the middle empty and crack two large eggs. You can definitely cook your eggs in advance in a small skillet and sit it aside until you are ready to add your eggs in with the other vegetables. So go ahead and scramble your eggs in the same wok. And once you see that the eggs are just starting to form, go ahead and start mixing it in with the other ingredients. Now, as you are stirring or whisking or mixing, go ahead, be careful to not break the tuna apart, especially if you are only using one can of tuna, you definitely want to be sure that you taste the meat. So the tuna that we are using also is the yellow fin brand. Um, you can pick this up at your local grocery store. And the five ounce can that we are using is not only infused with olive oil, but it also has Calabrian chili in it. So continue to mix that in and you're also adding in the oil as well as the tuna together. So once you're done adding your rice, you can do so gradually. So we are using six cups of white rice already cooked. This will serve about six to eight people. Or you can just add it in all at once, depending on how fresh your rice is. So mix well, lightly, Add in your soy sauce and cooking wine and lightly season it with salt and pepper to taste. Continue to mix and your meal is done once everything is heated through. And that's it guys. The full recipe is on the website at SavoryThoughts.com. And we would love for you to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you are new to our channel because we don't want you to miss out on any new videos. Cheers.